What's going on, everyone? This is Eric with Full Man MMA, and today I am joined once again by UFC light heavyweight, Jan Blahovich. Jan, how are you? Good. And how are you? I'm doing great. It's great to talk to you again. It's been a couple months since we last spoke. Um, now you have a new fight, yeah. Alexander Rakic, on May 14th. The fight was supposed to happen in March, uh, about a week ago, um, but you had a, a spine, a neck injury. Is that correct? Yes. I have uh, three... Uh... How to say it in English? Uh, Narnia, something like this. Uh, I don't know that's incorrect. Oh, is it like uh, the discs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, between the discs, you know. Uh, and this is what uh, what happened. Uh, the, one of these things put pressure on my nerve, and uh, I don't feel my left side. You know, all my left side was completely uh, turned off. Uh, that's why I have to do uh, not surgery, but uh, they put some medicine inside. They put from my neck, you know, something like this big, uh, some medicine and, uh, uh, you know, uh, rehabilitation, four weeks uh, of rehabilitation. Uh, and after that, I can start training normally for 100%. So uh, now I feel good. I don't feel pain. Uh, I hope so nothing bad happened to me. And uh, I hope so nothing happened bad to, to Alexander. And we're going to make this fight in soon. So the treatment was pretty easy. Like, is there any you know risk of something bad happening? Yes, to uh, it? yes. Doctor says says that uh, that looks that just rehab and just this medicine uh, will be enough. But we will see after four, uh, three, four weeks of rehabilitation. But because if th this doesn't help, then we're gonna have to do surgery. But uh, everything goes good. Uh, and now I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> my kid uh, now i'm good you know but uh, maybe in future you know they're gonna do they're gonna have to do something uh, uh, you know some surgery but for this moment everything is perfect and i'm happy you know because i can train normally well i'm glad that you're feeling better um uh, you know you've had this matchup with rakic for a couple months now you've had some time to think about it um how much does he impress you as an opponent yes you know he's really big guy strong uh, young with you know with motivation you know uh, big motivation to be be you know the best in the world so I have to be ready for you know new blood <laughs> new new generation of fighters uh, but I I've got you know in the gym uh, similar guys like him in his age with the same skills you know since same size so I'm gonna be ready for for him uh, I need to just remember about one thing I need to you know I cannot forget my legendary Polish power if I will not forget. I'm gonna be, you know, uh, I will gonna, I'm gonna win, win this fight. Of course. And uh, do, do you watch a lot of uh, film or tape on these guys before you fight them? Like, how do you see this fight playing out with you and uh, Alexander? Yeah, I always watch fights uh, of my opponents. You know, we, we sit with coaches, uh, with my team, and we watch. You know, we try to find his uh, uh, weakness, his best sides, everything. You know, what his game, what he's doing. Uh, my sparring partners watch uh, watch uh, also this fight because they have to simulate uh, uh, his style, uh, and we try to find you know the best way how to beat uh, uh, opponents. You know, so yeah, we, we study him. You know, I, I I want to know him better than than I know myself. You know, <laughs> what do you think is the best way to beat uh, Rakic after you know training? I think. It, I will not tell you. You know, because this is a secret. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but. Always is a similar thing. I need to put my game on him, you know? And if I will do it, uh, I'm going to win the fight, you know? Absolutely. Um, a, a couple months ago, after the uh, Glover Teixeira fight, you told Ariel Helwani that you were, uh, you and your camp were thinking about uh, changing the way you train, training a little bit differently. Have you done that? Are you training in a new way this yes, camp? Yes, we do, we do small changes, not big one, but uh, we do small, uh, small, small, we fix small details, you know, and I think uh, it's gonna be help. Uh, uh, two weeks ago, we have a that was KSW in Poland. Uh, three of uh, uh, three of my team members fight over there. Uh, everyone won the fight, so I think the, uh, that was good uh, decision, you know, to, to do these changes, and we are happy, you know, because uh, the system started working again, you know, so that. I hope so, and I believe that, that what we change uh, works again. That's great. Uh, congratulations to your teammates. Can you talk about what you changed, or is that a little bit of a secret as well? No, we just... Uh, it's not a big secret, you know. We just 
uh, little bit mentally game. We change a little bit mentally game, and we do more individual uh, training. You know. Now that makes a lot of sense. Um, so, I, so I was. This is this is, uh, this is the, the the most important uh, change. You know the. Uh, before uh, this changes, I do I don't know uh, maybe three four individual session with coach. Now almost everything is individual. You know, I and uh, we do some uh, you know with training with the whole group, but uh, uh, we we do in small group like in small group something like this. You know, the, my coach watch on me, different coach watch on different fighters who got the fight. So uh, they focus only about you know what we have to do about fighters. You know, not about whole. We've got one big team, but coaches focus about fighters, you know. So more individual way to 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 do this, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was I was wondering because I talked to Robert Whitaker about this a couple months ago. Um, you know, he was once the champion. He lost the belt. Very similar position to yourself right now. Uh, he said that he didn't actually like the pressure of being champion with the media having to defend the belt. Do you feel like there is less pressure on you now that that you don't have the belt at the moment? Uh, uh, but the pressure is uh, the same. <laughs> maybe uh, you know, uh, maybe a little bit uh, smaller. But uh, you know, uh, uh, everybody, not everybody, whole Poland wanted to get the wish me that I would have to get belt back. You know, so I feel this pressure again. <laughs> uh, but I to try, you know, enjoy it and keep uh, only good energy from this. You know. Uh, maybe after the fight was uh, uh, when I lost the fight. Maybe was uh, not so big like you know when I won the belt, you know. But uh, anyway, I feel the, the the people waiting for this fight and whole Poland will wake up and watch the the, the fight with, with Rakic. So the pressure will be uh, the same. <laughs> Your life hasn't changed at all, right? I mean, you you are such a big star in Poland now. I would imagine that you having the belt or not having the belt, it doesn't really make too much of a difference with how the country sees you. Yeah, you know, but uh, I feel better with the belt. <laughs> but but yes, you, you know, uh, uh, people give me a lot of support here in Poland, no matter what, and I just can say thank, thanks to them for that because it, it's important, you know, because it, it's easy to support you when you are the champion and you want everything, but when you when they support you after uh, losing, uh, that's you know the meaning much more for me, you know, and I just want to say thank, thanks all of them. How's the media been? Do you, I know you're doing a ton of media as champion. Are there still a lot of people like me that want to talk to you all the time? Uh, now I cut a little bit uh, the media stuff because I'm in the training camp, so I don't want, you know, uh, do just like with you, you know, on the Skype in the evening when I've got, you know, uh, when I finish my, my day, so then I can uh, talk a little bit, but they ask me a little bit, but not not so much, you know. But uh, I do that, you know. I just cut it, you know, because I don't want. I want. I have to focus about the fight, not about uh, media stuff, you know. I've done a lot of this thing uh, before I start the camp, you know. When I have injury, then I have time to to do the media media thing. Of course. Well, that makes me feel special. So thank you, Jan. <laughs> um, I was wondering. Uh, there's an awful lot going on in uh, Eastern Europe right now. You know, you're in Poland, very close to what's happening in Ukraine. I saw you tweeting about it. Is there any kind of travel restrictions? Like you'll be okay to fly out of the country for this fight? For this moment, yes. Not gonna be a problem for me to 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 go to to, uh, to for the for the fight. So uh, yeah, I hope so. Nothing will change. I hope so. You know, the the, the war will stop soon. Maybe I hope, I wish right now will stop. Yeah, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's sick situation. Fuck Putin, by the way. Uh, and that's it, uh, you know, I, I but uh, yeah, for me, I will be on the fight now, no problem, uh, if nothing happened, you know. Has it affected your day-to-day -day life at all? I just know, you know, you were, I wasn't going to ask about it, but I saw you were kind of educating some people on Twitter that didn't know what was happening over there. Has it affected, you know, day-to-day -day for you? You know, I will not tweet this, I will not do it that because, you know, uh, this is, don't change anything, you know. Uh, but I feel inside that I have to do it because uh, I answer for to the guy who is uh, in the same company with me. You know, we fight for for UFC, so I have to educate. Uh, ed ed I try to educate him a little bit more because uh, I, I think that he don't know what happened in the world and uh, he don't know what happened before. You know, this war was happening in in, in, in this part of Europe in the, the, the world. So 
that's why I uh, tweet this. Mm -hmm. you know? And I believe, I hope so that he start reading a book, history book. Uh, he, you know, maybe he just uh, turn turn off the the TV and start thinking by by, by himself. You know. Yeah. No, I wanted to. I, wish. I wanted to commend you. I wish that I wish I wish that to everybody. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> No, absolutely. No, I just I wanted to commend you because I saw that uh, yesterday. Um, I was a little behind, but I, I saw you do it and I thought it was a really respectful way to respond to somebody that, you know, maybe didn't know a whole lot. So thank you, Jan, uh, on behalf of all of us. I, I appreciate that you are so respectful when you do that. Um, I want to ask you a little bit lighter now. Uh, you were talking about acting in a movie later this year. Is that still on pace to happen? Yeah, I'm still waiting for, you know, uh... I need to ask my manager because I don't know what's happening over there right now. <laughs> but uh, I think so. After the fight, uh, we're gonna start doing this movie. But but I don't know what is the situation. We, it is. My manager says that it is. So after the fight, I'm gonna be actor <laughs> again. Do you like doing that? I know Michael Bisping. A lot of other fighters transition over to acting after towards the later stage of their career. Do you like doing the acting? I I do just one movie. Uh, that was really good experience for me. Uh, I've got more uh, respect now for the for 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 people who are doing this because I think that this is a job, but it's not. It's really hard job, you know. Uh, but it was good adventure, and I like it, you know. So, uh, yes, why not? You know, why not? If they give me the chance and opportunity to doing that. Uh, I always like to try new things, you know, traveling, uh, meet the new people. So. It's a new opportunity to doing that, so why not? Like a Poland Ninja Warrior too. I remember that as well. <laughs> yes, I was there, but I falling down <laughs> <laughs> in the third, uh, third, second or third uh, exercise. I don't remember. But when I saw the the whole, uh, you know, construction, and I say, okay. In this place, I'm falling down, and I did. <laughs> you were hard on yourself. No, it's it's a lot harder than it looks. So you can't blame yourself for falling. Yes, up. it looks easy on TV, you know. But when you are there, when you see how big it is, uh, and you know that the, the the people who doing that, they they train really hard to doing that. You know, I was impressive. You know how how hard they train for for that. I, I just go there. You know, they call for me. Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna be there. You know, no preparation for that, just for the fun. You know. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. You know? Yeah. Well, that's how a lot of people look at fighting too. They think, oh, it's just fighting. I can step in there and do that. It's not so easy. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's it's exactly the same. You know, it looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> I also wanted to ask before I let you go. Uh, the last time we talked, you uh, talked about your plans to maybe move up to heavyweight. Is that still something on the cards? Uh, yeah, but not now. You know, now I've got different plans. I have to get the belt back, <laughs> and if I do it after that, maybe. <laughs> All right, there we go. Maybe yes. Uh, before I let you go, Jan, uh, you've been so generous with your time as always. Uh, I always want to give you a chance to promote anything, give anyone a shout out. Uh, the floor is yours. You know, I just want to thank people who support me after the, the, the lose the belt. And uh, this is a really important for me. One more time, thank you. And, you know, what can I say? Just uh, keep fingers for Ukraine, to stop war, and see you soon in the octagon. Awesome. Well, Jan, can't wait to see you. May 14th, Alexander Rackett should be a great fight. Really appreciate the time. Yeah, I believe in that. It's going to be a good fight to watch. Thank you so much, Jan. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. If you like our content, be sure to subscribe to Full Man MMA. And while you're at it, make sure to hit the bell icon as well so you never miss an update from us.